Peace be upon you too. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. This article is on the virtues of the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah. Worshipping in these days holds the highest form of rewards from Allah than the worship of any other days of the year except from that person who loses his or her life and wealth in the struggle and striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus it is narrated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said on no other days are good deeds more liked by Allah than on these days, meaning the first ten days of the Hijjah. The companion of the Allah who unmasked Rasulullah did not even struggle in the way of Allah. He replied, not even struggle in the way of Allah, except for that person who goes out to struggle with his life and wealth and does not return with anything. Bukhari. Every day's fast in these days is equivalent to the reward of fasting a full year. Every night's nafil salah will gain you the reward of standing to pray in the night of power, Laylatul Qadr, which is the reward of worshipping 83 years and 4 months. Just as it is stated in the following hadith, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said On no days is the worship of Allah desired more than in the first ten days of the Hijjah The fast of each of these days is equal to the fast of a whole year and the worship ibadah of any of these nights is equal to the ibadah of the night of power Laylatul Qadr Hadith taken from Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. Number three, we should actively commit recite increasingly the following rewarding acts. Subhanallah, Tasbih, glorifying Almighty, La ilaha illallah, Tahleel, the creed, to praise Almighty, Alhamdulillah, Tahmeed To chant Allah is the greatest Allahu Akbar, Takbir As it is narrated from Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum that Messenger of Allah said Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam No days are as weighty with Allah and so light by Him Subhanahu wa ta'ala for good deeds than the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah Therefore, in these days, increasingly read Subhanallah, La ilaha illallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar This is taken from Tabrani Now, for one who is performing Qurbani It is an act of mustahab To refrain from shaving, trimming hair And clipping nails in these days of Sulh Hijjah Following the statement of Prophet ﷺ, which is narrated by Masalama radiallahu anha, the Prophet ﷺ stated, When one of you intend to perform qurbani and the first ten days of the hijjah commences, then he or she shouldn't shave or trim hair and clip nails. This hadith is found in Muslim. Shukran really appreciate for listening